Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about WordPress cost estimation and a payment form builder. So basically with the help of this plugin you will be able to create a payment form gateway. Let me show you what I am talking about. If we go to the live preview and if we scroll down you will be able to see the whole documentation of this particular plugin. So basically you will be able to create a payment section on a single page with the uh, there will be multiple various step uh, to success that particular payment i will show you the example what i am talking about right that is a super elegant way to uh, get a payment from your client on your website without the help of like woocommerce plugin right so if i am not wrong it is opening as you scroll down you will be able to see a lot of things right this will be something like this first you have to uh, select the feature then you will get on uh, then you will click the next step then this price will automatically increase okay let me show you you just have to download this plugin once you are having this plugin then you just need to come to your website okay this is a fresh website installed wordpress having a astra thing nothing much of that okay first of all you need to log into the back end you have to type wp admin and you will be redirected to your back end super simple right and if you're logging in for the first time, you will be uh, asked by the username and password which you have entered while you were in installing your WordPress on your hosting. Okay, so once you are done with everything, you will be redirected to your backend, which is called hosting uh, dashboard. Also, on the left hand side, you will see multiple sections like uh, settings. With the help of that, you will be able to create a permalink, change the structure of permalink, add media, discussion section tool section under the hood of tools you will be able to see import section export section site health under the section of user you will be able to create multiple user and assign them different value under the section of plugin you will be able to add a new plugins delete the existing plugin so basically plugin extends the functionality of your wordpress website okay so under the hood of appearance you will be able to change the theme and background and the look kind of thing of your website so basically today we are going to deal with the plugin okay click on install plugin let me show you what are the plugins i have right now this is the plugin which we are going to install let me show you how you can add this plugin okay you you just have to click on add new and you have to upload the file which you have downloaded okay first of all uh, WordPress provide you and numbers of free plugin as well but the thing is these free plugins author generally keep the most uh, amazing feature of their particular plugin as a as in a premium premium plugin right first of all they will create a plugin and they will just create two plugin first uh, they will create the free plugin and the main feature with the help of which their the whole plugin is working they will hide inside the premium plugin so that once uh, a user is used to the free plugin addicted to the free plugin then they have to move to the premium site right so as you can see yoast also has a premium plugin as we have talked in our earlier videos right so i don't think so this plugin uh, this plugin has a free a free part this is totally premium plugin you have to buy it okay once you have the file you just need to click on import select the file and if i'm not wrong this is the section you have to click on install okay and install and activate that super simple process right so i have already installed and activate as you can see under the installed plugin as you can see it's here that's the original thing so once you have installed this on the left hand side you will see this section enp page builder click on this okay so by default basically they have provided a n numbers of free template you can easily edit anyone so that you can make your work done with the existing template right okay as you can see there is the whole structure how this uh, template works exactly so let me first install uh use this template then you will get a rough idea what i'm talking about okay so we'll create a page hold on okay and we will try to add this form <laughs> and let's see publish it and let's visit it okay so as you can see basically there is a setup uh, wizard type thing so let's uh, start this get started and it will ask you some questions okay mobile or website what do you want okay i want a website cool then hit on next step and what features basically you want on your website it has to be e-commerce blog database i'll go for the blog one okay next step 
and what kind of design do you want do you want mobile responsive desktop or responsive i'll click on responsive and hit the next step and what kind of cms you, you want to use content management system i'll go for the wordpress one click on next step as you can see the price is increasing also right so if you select one of these also uh, deliver in less than 30 days price also increased okay hit on next step and final cost so as you can see here is the final cost and here is the email id enter your email id and if you want a, to add a custom message you can also add it and for, uh, you have to add the payment gateway so that if you click on this order order my website uh, then you have to make a payment to the author okay let me show you how you can add a payment gateway basically okay so if you come back to the forms this was the form which we saw right now click on edit then you will get a proper structure what i showed you okay let it load as you can see this was the main question then if somebody clicks on website then it will redirect to the feature design cms and last details okay and if somebody clicks on a uh, mobile then it will ask a type of application uh, would you like to have a game design or targeted device right so this is the structure and you can set up your payment gateway also that you want the payment at the end of the uh, form right so you can add paypal stripe and razor pay right that is the general thing and you can literally change anything if you want to change this mobile and this you can edit this and start uh, adding your own stuff <laughs> if i'm not wrong right you can change it from here and you can just ask for two things like do you want um, if i'm saying website or game development right you can add anything whatever kind of form you need i hope you really get my point what i'm trying to say here so that this is the uh, proper uh, form type uh, payment gateway which you can get it on your website for a real good price right as you can see there are a multiple forms you can really check it out uh, this has been free provided by the plugin in the initial stage you can use use it for your own purpose and i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.